Have you ever seen a solar eclipse? A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the earth and the sun, almost completely blocking any light from the sun. If you imagine the sun as the size of a common bicycle tire, the moon in comparison would be scarcely the size of a small pebble. How is it possible that the very source of our warmth, light, and life could be so greatly obstructed by something comparatively insignificant in size? Although the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, it is also 400 times farther away from the earth. From Earth's perspective, this geometry makes the sun and moon appear to be the same size. When the two are aligned just right, the moon seems to obscure the entire sun. In the same manner that the very small moon can block the magnificent sun, extinguishing its light and warmth, a spiritual eclipse can occur when we allow minor and troublesome obstructions to get so close they block out the magnitude, brightness, and warmth of the light of Jesus Christ and His gospel. Clearly, none of us wants to purposefully obscure our vision of heaven or allow a spiritual eclipse to occur in our lives. Let me share some thoughts that may assist us in preventing spiritual eclipse from causing us permanent spiritual damage. We can gaze at partially blocked heavenly light through gospel glasses, avoiding the harm of a spiritual eclipse. When you put on gospel glasses, you find enhanced perspective, focus, and vision in the way that you think about your priorities, your problems, your temptations, and even your mistakes. You will see brighter light that you could not see without them. Ironically, it is not only the negative that can cause spiritual eclipse. Often admirable or positive endeavors can be drawn so close that they blot out gospel light and bring darkness. These could include education and prosperity, power and influence, ambition, even talents and gifts. President Dieter F. Uchtdorf has taught that any virtue, when taken to an extreme, can become a vice. The use of social media, mobile apps, and games can be inordinately time-consuming. Two additional risks related to social media are idealized reality and debilitating comparisons. With so many appropriate and inspired uses of technology, let us use it to teach, inspire, lift, and encourage others to become their finest, and rather than to portray our idealized virtual selves. Let's now address the age-old stumbling block of pride. Pride is the opposite of humility, which is a willingness to submit to the will of the Lord. Pride is often competitive. It is a tendency to seek to become more and presume that we are better than others. Pride often results in feelings of anger and hatred. It causes one to hold grudges or to withhold forgiveness. Pride is swallowed in the Christ-like attribute of humility. Relationships, even with close family and loved ones, are fostered in humility and are stymied by pride. In conclusion, a solar eclipse is indeed a remarkable phenomenon of nature during which the beauty, warmth, and light of the sun can be completely covered by a comparatively insignificant object causing darkness and chill. A similar phenomenon can be replicated in a spiritual sense when otherwise small and insignificant matters are drawn too close and block the beauty warmth and heavenly light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, replacing it with cold darkness. Gospel glasses comprised of a knowledge and testimony of gospel principles and ordinances provide spiritual protection and clarity for someone exposed to the hazards of a spiritual eclipse. If you discover anything that seems to be blocking your light and joy of the gospel in your life, I invite you to look through a lens of the gospel to not allow insignificant and inconsequential matters obscure your eternal view of the great plan of happiness. In short, don't let life's distractions eclipse heaven's light. I bear testimony that no matter the obstruction that may block our vision of gospel light, the light is still there. That source of warmth, truth, and brightness is the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
I bear testimony of a loving Heavenly Father and of His Son, Jesus Christ, and of His role as our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.